What I wish I would have known at the start of my ACCA journey. Well, if you're an ACCA student, you're in the right place because Gurang has kindly got in touch with me after watching some of my lovely videos to talk us through his story and to share his advice to help you to pass and become ACCA qualified. But before we get kicked off, Gurang, feel free to introduce yourself, my friend. Hi there, James. Uh, thank you make, uh, for making me part of your channel. <laughs> I've watched a lot of your videos and uh, I found them very, very useful. And that's why I wanted to be in touch with you. Um, I just recently qualified as a Chartered Certified Accountant uh, in the June 2023 sitting mm -hmm. after a long, long wait. Um, yeah, so my journey started in 2013 after I graduated from university. Mm -hmm. And um, as like a lot of students, we received quite a few exemptions to begin with. Um, and then... I, I, I think I started from the F7, F8, F8 paper, the yep. uh, financial yes. management and the uh, the uh, audit and assurance paper. Uh, I found them quite, um, quite uh, they were quite easy to get through. Ooh, I mean, I did, all of the not, financial not, reporting students now going, oh my God, I'm not sure about that. But, but we're going to get They, they weren't as difficult as a professional paper. Sorry, let's put it yeah. that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't put a, a, a like, I put a lot more time into the professional papers than I did for the um, for the foundation papers. Um, I did start off by self studying with the F seven and F eight papers mm -hmm. uh, purely because at university level we were always self studying. Uh, we were uh, obviously as a group of friends studying together. Obviously speaking to the lecturers at some point. So I just thought let's try self studying for these papers. Um, I, I did do that a couple of times, and then I did fail. F8 to begin with for the first time. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I looked at uh, the, you know, the professional resources that ACCA recommend to study with, to partner with. Um, yeah, and then uh, did pick a provider and uh, study for F8, uh, eventually got through that. And then my journey kind of deteriorated when I went through to the P-level papers. Well, yes, uh, that, that's the, the SBR, the SBL, and then picking your two option papers. So what sort of stands out? Back then it was um, P1, P2, P2 and P3. P3. Yeah, yeah, indeed, um, indeed. But same standards, yeah. same level. Yeah. I mean, but what, yeah. what would you have wished you'd have told or you could help a student out now who's going from that university or heading on to the strategic level? Yeah. Uh, they'd be really interested to know your story as to, Maybe why yeah. it took so long, or what lessons yeah, you've learned. Yeah, from it. yeah. Well, I know um, with a lot of students, you have to balance out your your work as well. You've got a full time job, a part time job. You've got other commitments as well. Um, if you've got your own family, you've got mm -hmm. if you're married, you've got your own <laughs> other commitments. So you have to balance the working life in terms of the uh, actual uh, studying mm -hmm. and your actual personal life as well. Um, I did uh, mention before that I did try and self-study, um, but that didn't really work for me. Um, mm -hmm. And I know obviously finances are quite hard for students as well. Like picking a provider isn't free. It is a, it's, it's another cost at the end of the day. Um, some providers are more expensive than the others. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually found out recently there are providers in different countries as well, which are, um, they are less, well, they are less expensive than yeah. providers mm -hmm. maybe over here. And, um, they they probably might they well from my experience they do have the same content as well um it might be different uh times that uh you have to attend their lectures because if they're in a different country they'll be ahead or behind mm -hmm. but and they could they could work out more um financially uh, economical yeah. for yeah. for you if yeah. you were to yeah. study with them and um, i did find out that i did i did use uh overseas providers mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. Just based on my research as well, and I saw a lot of uh, free content online as well, and I thought I would use them eventually. Also, having said that, I did use uh, UK providers as well, which helped me through uh, my journey at the start of the P-level papers. Um, but towards the end, the advanced level papers, I did um, use a mixture of uh, resources in the UK and overseas as well. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, uh, the question, <laughs> going back to the question, I think uh, my journey itself, yeah, I started in 2013. Um, it's been a 10-year journey, and I know the journey is long, but I think eventually it's worth it when you get that certificate in your hand. Uh, a lot of times, and I'm not embarrassed to say this, the last two exams, I picked advanced taxation mm -hmm. and advanced audit and assurance. 
I think I failed the papers in between them about 10 times over, over just over oh, 10 crikey. times. Yeah, well, well yeah. in terms of like those exams and then the reasons for failing it and then coming back to pass, what are the sort of lessons that you've learned from that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, what do you do? I mean, you come out with a result of 47, 46, 47, 48, 49. It varies. And then should you give up? Do you, do you have to study the same content again? Do you mm. change your approach? Who do you listen to? You, you listen to so many lecturers, guidance you read online of what to do, you try the same technique again and again, and then you fail. Mm. And what you do, reset after reset after reset. I mean, I've been failing the last two exams. I think it taken me two, three years to mm. pass it on and off. I, I didn't sit it consistently, but on and off, because we had, uh, I had our own business. We had a new business coming in. So my time was devoted there. I actually got married last year as well, so oh, juggling a lot. Congratulations! Yeah, yeah no, 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 that was a that was a big help for me actually. My wife played an important role for me to pass my exams as well. So it was it was um it was actually after marriage I, I passed both <laughs> both exams as well. So that helped a lot. I mean, mm, but, but yeah, I mean, it's it's lots of people out there, Graham. You, yeah. You'll see on like LinkedIn, you'll get lots of people yeah. say, "Oh, I'm a prize winner, and I did it exactly. in ten weeks yeah, exactly. and all this yeah, sort of yeah, stuff." Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So are there, are there, what, what things did you change in sort of your, your approach or your lifestyle or how you went? I mean, uh, uh, I'll be honest with you, like a lot of times that I failed, I didn't do all the things that were recommended. It was just uh, time was one thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just thought I knew it all, basically, like I uh, do the past exams, mm -hmm. uh, you revise the answer to the past exams and you'll get through the next sitting. And I don't think it actually works that way in ACCA. You mm -hmm. have to, if you want to get through the exams you have to dedicate a lot of time in terms of yeah. reading the extra resources reading the examiner's, examiner's report doing as many past papers as possible doing mock exams and if you can pay for that via a tutor i would highly recommend that because that can increase your mark by 10 15 marks from the actual yeah. mark to the yeah. real sitting mm -hmm. uh, there's so many free guidances on linkedin on your youtube channels for example there's actually also free content on youtube as well from examiners or from lecturers as well talking about uh, this actual sitting or the next sitting or the future sittings uh, mm. use all of these guidances as support i mean i was quite determined confident that i'd pass it just based on uh, doing these past exams uh, marking your exams uh, obviously uh, with support from tutors as well just revising over these past exams but no there's more to it there's uh there's these mock exams as well. There's these free content on ACCA website. Mm. They've actually got um, examiners' answers on ACA website of what a candidate would write to fail or what a candidate would write to succeed in this exam as well. I think that was that actually helped a lot because that's actually coming from an examiner as well. So that also helped as well. Um, yeah. Oh, there's so yeah. much free content out there. And I'll put yeah. the link in the description of this video. So check it out down there. I always say that you've got the technical articles, the external examiner's reports exactly. on there. Exactly. Uh, yeah. the, the art, the PDF you're referring to is read the mind of the marker, which I think oh, is yeah. great yeah. on there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. And just, just go through them. The other things yeah. as to you'd have experienced the transition onto the CVE platform, computer-based exactly. exam system where you, you can't afford to waste time in that exam. Exactly. You've got yeah. to get used to it. You yeah, might've yeah. seen a few of my videos where I just try and yeah, walk yeah. and saw, talk it through. Them, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I actually use the CBA platform for all of my written answers. I didn't do it by hand. You have to use a CBA platform. Like, that is what you're going to be sitting in the real exam. There is no mm -hmm. point writing the answers by hand. Use the case study in the CBA platform. You use it as a guidance and your answers. Type it out from scratch. Like, literally, time management also in these exams, especially the advanced exams, is key. Mm. Like, I can't stress that enough how time management helps in these exams. I mean, I sat the exams so many times, multiple times. A lot of the times I didn't even get through because of the time in the yeah. actual exam. Time goes like that in the exam when you're actually sitting it. Like, Com completely agree. Yeah. Completely agree. Yeah. But I, I get this question quite a lot. It's about when students have failed exams like myself, when you're going into the exam the next time after you failed it once or twice, like, how do you cope with the sort of anxiety and the head games around it? What worked best for you? That's a good question because uh, you, you just have to be confident in yourself. You have to you have to stick to the clock. I mean, I had a really good lecturer who's based in the UK. Um, 
you know him very well um i mean uh you actually did a youtube channel with him um <laughs> He's from the FME. Uh, uh, um, he's right. an FME lecturer. Yeah, uh, he changed the game for me of how to stick to the clock. Uh, this was for my advanced taxation paper, actually. Yeah, he um, literally. You can give him a shout out. out. It's all right. Go I, it's, on. it's Richard. It's Richard Paul. Like he, he's he a was cool guy. He was incredible. <laughs> like he literally made sure during our homeworks, during our. Um, mock exams, our revision questions, everything. It was all done via the CV platform as well. Mm. Everything, you stick to the clock. If you run over, you just go to the next question. There are marks to be won in the next question, marks to be picked up in the next questions. Don't worry about it. If you, if you go over the clock, you move to the next question. And I think in my uh, exams, which I failed, I was like, no, I have to finish this question. I have to get through this question. Even if time goes on one, two, three minutes more, I'd have to finish this question. No, it doesn't work like that, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I you, agree. You finish, yeah, you, you stick to the clock and you move on to the next. Because there are marks to be won. There are easy marks to be won in other questions. So, 100%. Yeah, 100% yeah. on that. And it's not yeah. just for advanced taxation. It's, it's for all yeah, Sorry, exams. for all exams across, yeah. yeah. And, you read uh, yeah, and I mean, there's reports yeah. about it all yeah, the time. Exactly. Students only do 80% uh, of the questions, yeah. 85 yeah. They're going, do yeah, it all. No. Do it all yeah. on there. I remember in my March sitting, um, I missed out a 10 marker because I didn't stick to the clock. Like, it was so key to stick to the clock. Uh, this was for my audit exam, my advanced audit exam. Like, you have to stick mm. every exam. If there's one thing that you have to learn from this video, is you, you just stick to the clock. You have exactly. to. They're easy mark. You only have to get 50 out of 100. You're not aiming for 60, unless you want to get 60, 70. You know I mean, <laughs> I think I think a lot of students just want to get the, the 50 and, and get through the line. Yeah. Easy, easier said than done, isn't it? Yeah, Greg? I know. But, of course but, it is. Uh, is, is there any other final things lingering on your mind, students take notes down that you couldn't sleep tonight if we didn't get it on record to help someone get that 50 plus? I mean, for me, uh, in the exams that I passed, eventually, I had a routine. I think having a routine is key. I mean, a lot of lecturers say you have to start 12 weeks before the exam. Some people say a month or two months. Um, but do, do what, what works best for you. I mean, if you've sat the exams before and you're failing it, you do know some knowledge for the exams. If you're mm. still getting to the 40s, you're not starting from scratch, are you? You're starting at a platform where you're 10 marks, five marks away from passing. So if you are that student that's starting with about 10 marks away from passing, maybe you don't have to start 12 years before. You can start two, three months, two, two months before. But have a structure in place. Stick to a timetable. I mean, hmm. some things you have to sacrifice in life. I mean, your social life, you might have to sacrifice. But at the end of the day, you get your ACCA membership out of it. And yeah, I mean, just st stick to a routine. Uh, take breaks as well. Don't just study all day. Hmm. Go to the gym, meet up with friends. Uh, but but study study as much as you can, especially make it up over the weekends if you're working full time from Monday to Friday. That's what completely works. Completely agree. Yeah. Completely yeah. agree, and re and really good advice there. I always yeah. just say, you have to have a routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The available yeah. time. Everyone's different. If you've got kids, yeah. other commitments, that kind of, of thing. Course. Separate yeah. out your days. Get a plan yeah. going. Work out when your free days are. All these yeah. sort of things compound yeah. into getting you those extra marks and they're going exactly. you start saying to yourself i've only exactly. got about an hour tomorrow i can yeah, start yeah. and and yeah. then your brain ticks into it and goes yeah. oh my word i didn't realize i was so yeah, short of time yeah so. also also sorry one more thing i'd like to mention is that um during my uh, success uh passing the exams there was also like these whatsapp groups that i think were made by open tuition uh mm -hmm. there's these study buddy groups it, it's good to like interact with other students because like before i never used to speak to any student like I'd always study myself, speak to lecturers. There was no like groups. Yeah. Start speaking to other students. I mean, we're, uh, at the end of the day, you're all in the same boat. You're all mm -hmm. studying the same same uh, exam. Get get some feedback from other students. Some students might be stronger in some some topics than yourself. Get some feedback from them. I, I learned a lot from students themselves as well. I mean, we spoke about a lot of content, a lot of um, topics in in the exam. Got, got a lot of feedback. I mean, one student yeah. I worked really close with, we helped each other and we both passed at the same time. I mean, it was really helpful. Mega. Yeah. 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 So if you're an ACCA student watching this now, the comment sections are below. Myself, Garang, we'll be looking through them on there, guys. But I must say, Garang, thank you so much for coming on today. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very it. much for your time, James. Oh, yeah. the, the pleasure's all pleasure. mine. Thank you. Thank guys, you. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed yeah. the video. Be sure to give it a like as well and feel free to share it with anyone who you're studying with. Because those little tips, you know, can get you that little extra mark or two to pass and you'll be 
meeting myself and going at an ACCA event in the future. Oh, yeah, sure, for sure. I'm sure. <laughs> but thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any other free videos. And as always, thank you so much for the support to the channel. And who knows, you might be having a nice chit chat with myself and Gurang uh, in Definitely. the future on there. But uh, thank you very much, guys. And we'll see you thank soon. You. Thank Cheers. You.